What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of the Tech once again, and today I'm going to show you guys how to prep a USB stick to install Cubes OS. The only requirements hardware wise is going to be a USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage on it. Once you have that already, just plug it into your computer, whatever USB port you want, and we're going to go over how to burn it with a Windows system. So let's get into it. Welcome back. So the first thing you're going to need to do is head on over to cubes-os.org and then click the download and install button on the main page and scroll down to find the latest release ISO. We're going to download the ISO by just clicking it, selecting save file and click OK. I already have it in my downloads folder just so we don't have to wait on it to download for this particular video. Next thing you're going to want to do is get Rufus at Rufus ekio.ie if you scroll down you can get the latest version which right now is 2.18 and click it and once again click save file i already have that downloaded as well once downloaded you can run the executable and you will be running rufus we're going to select our usb drive this is a 32 gigabyte one but shouldn't matter for you all too much right now and then we want to make sure that we have mbr partition scheme for bios or eufy the default, which is fine here for the file system, FAT32. Cluster size, we want 16 kilobytes. This is by default at like 41 something, so keep that in mind. I don't know why it's showing default there. And then we'll just name this cubes and we will select DD image. So yes, we did download an ISO, but per their install instructions for this particular operating system, you use a DD image and then click to select the image. If we go to our downloads file here, you'll see that nothing shows up. So that's because it's looking for a DD image when we are looking for an ISO. So we're gonna click all files and then we can select the ISO for cubes right here and click open. At this point we can click start and then it will say the system uses a Linux 6.03 blah, 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 yes to connect to the internet and download these files or no to cancel, we will click yes. And we want to select write in DD image, not in ISO image and click okay. Finally, Rufus will give you a warning that it's going to destroy all data on the disk. So make sure that you've recovered any information or any files that you currently have stored on it and click okay. The image will then be written and you can boot to it on whatever device you decide to install cubes on. Keep in mind that if you do get a failure notice at first or it's not, doesn't seem to be booting, to go ahead and try to boot that particular device with a legacy option on the USB instead of the UFI option and you should be good to go. So that's pretty much going to wrap up prepping a drive to install cubes operating system. I hope you guys install it and let me know what you guys think about the operating system in general. We'll go over some specific features for that in the near future. So be sure to hit subscribe if you're interested in this type of content. Once again, I'll see you next Tuesday.